Hey, it's Andrew, welcome to Beat Therapy. Earlier this year, I set myself one of those New Year's resolutions. I had the idea that I wanted to do one of those, you know, those hyper-edited, sample source, found sound videos where people make music out of everyday objects. So I had a little bit of help from my nephew, Sam. Thanks, Sam. You can skip to the video if you want, because I got a few things I gotta say. I'm gonna leave a little link. You can just jump ahead. Just jump ahead. Like, you don't have to listen to me talk. Just cut to the chase. Click that button. Just get there. Go. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> I also have these naive ambitions of getting a thousand YouTube subscribers by the end of the year. There's still time, but anyway, I want to give a huge thanks to those who have subscribed. Big thanks to those who've left comments and engaged because it's, um, yeah, it's a strange thing that I do and there's not many people that I can talk to about what I do, so it's great. I'm trying to find my tribe through YouTube, so, hi. Oh yeah, I was going to talk you through how I made the sounds. I made these sounds... You can make music almost out of anything if you reduce the sample loop to the tiniest little bit. You can use that and create a lead instrument and there are various filter treatments and all the rest of it you can do to make various percussive elements and that's kind of what I've done uh, with this video. It was a rush job, I had five minutes to get the samples really. There's a cool guitar solo in this, um, but it's not actually a guitar, it's a squeezy little sea otter, um, which also features as the kick drum for this piece as well. So here is my hyper-edited, toy-themed video. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> 